microwave issue has not been so much complaints from students. Um, it was an issue that was brought up when I met with the student body president in his cabinet that they felt there was a need for more microwaves because it backs up during the lunch hour. Um, so something we're addressing right now is how many microwaves, hopefully up to four, can we run over there with the available power. Once we know that, um, the student body government has uh, said that they would help purchase the microwaves. Uh, typically that's not something I uh, would purchase. So we would maintain them and clean them, but they would make the initial purchase. So we're just waiting on power right now. I don't know who would maintain them. I don't believe that one's inside the Rowdies. I think that's out in the hall. Is that correct? Um, so I would suspect that whoever placed it there would maintain it. Um, as far as the one in here, we should be maintaining that one. And if it's dirty, that's not acceptable. You know, we would be the ones that would maintain them. Even though it's, they're not ours, we would maintain that one. So, because it is directly in our field establishment. Yes. Joining me is Derek Stotler, ASI President of CSUB. Thank you for joining me, Derek. Good morning and thank you for having me. With the increasing number of students attending CSUB, would you think it would be reasonable to have more microwaves on campus? Certainly. I, th I think, uh, you know, we're getting to a point where we're going to be increasing to eventually 16,000 students um, or more. Um, I know that that's the target, and so with the ever-increasing enrollment um, year after year, I think for the past five or six years, there are uh, students that have to wait up to 15, 20 minutes um, I've personally gone over there now uh, several times and there's been uh, lines of 10 to 15 minutes or 10 to 15 people as well and each of them take about a minute um, and it has become a problem um, and so ASI has um, listened to what the students have said in our board meetings. We thank those students for bringing forward um, uh, this issue um, and we've actually gone and um, allocated $500 to purchase um, five new microwaves. I actually have what? the documentation with me. Um, this will be, this has been taken, so the process, how it works is uh, it first goes through the committee, and mm -hmm. so the University Affairs Committee um, has approved, uh, provisionally approved $500 for the purchase of five microwaves um, on campus. Wow. Um, this was this past week. Um, it was then brought to the board meeting last week However, um, the, this information was not sent out to students 72 hours in advance, um, so we had to strike it from this week's agenda, but we have placed it, um, we, we haven't placed it on a further agenda yet um, because we're still waiting on more information um, within the Runner Cafe. We met with David Habim, um, and he said, I have to check with, to see how much, how many microwaves we can put on one circuit yes. um, without shorting up the building. That's so he's working with facilities right now, um, but we have this approved, um, and all this has to do is be taken to the board of directors um, and approved from them, and then the microwaves will start being installed. Oh, that's wonderful. I think um, all the students on campus would be really excited to have more microwaves on campus instead of waiting in line so much. 